Now that they have dehumanized the most inhumane of human institutions, warfare has reached a more dire level of terror and destitution. Whereby you are denied the sight of your killer before you are set never after to meet your maker. Whereby I do not get to see the sin I commit in the eyes of my victim before I ensure their family is set roses and a paycheck to compensate the holes I've left in the mind of a little child who has lost a parent or more, all for the sake of a war on terror, where terror is the cure for terror. But our terror is the right kind of terror. Call it a diet kind that kills you slower and you feel it less, but trust me, it's there. Maybe I'll wake up, go to work, push a button, kill a newborn in a slum in Pakistan. I'll take a break and grab a bite and a sigh because everything is all right. I'll call my wife and remind her not to forget little Sammy and little Charlie from nursery because they mean the world to me. I'm doing this for them, you see. I've got to get that paycheck, so back to work it is. Your life for a six pack for my nephew's 16th. So God bless you if you die tonight, because I'm called to duty and I deliver judgment with a joystick. Really, a kid could do it. Now that they have dehumanized the most inhumane of human institutions, there's a revelation of a certain annihilation of entire societies. It used to be, I think, if you killed, you'd feel it in your system. But now the scope is wider, further than the scope of a Mark I back during World War I, over 100 years on, but we're worse than before. We just change the scene slightly to somewhere we are less capable for feeling guilt for atrocities we are in some way complicit with. So you see, there's a shift from Paris to the, there's a shift from Paris to the Middle East. Let them be the sacrifice for a totally new offensive. So the rest of mankind can rest tonight reassured not to feel the sting of an ATG missile as they sleep. Because some must war for love of liberty. If liberty means freedom to steal what belongs to God only, then your liberty is grown on valleys that works with bodies as soil. And to preserve those Elysian fields, you grow puppies that bloom like Flanders field, because to be free is the true opium. And support for war of any sort which fails to uphold some greater purpose is the purposeful lie designed to let madmen strive and condemn families to lay without shame, because bringing with their truth is poverty, calamity, rape, tragedy. You can't count genocide through statistics. So I'm talking exclusively about these cubicle warriors, joystick vigilantes, button pusher power rangers who sit in the comfort of their offices, let violence rule their lives and blood seep from their every orifice, but they sleep comfortably at night because they can assassinate en masse without having to feel those all too human, all too common things we know to be guilt and empathy. And I understand you need money, you need to live, but in dealing death you exceed, so you sell your services, cash rules everything around these fiends, and for that dollar they'll kill you. The average salary of a UAV operator is about 53k USD, so that is about 16 pounds and 40 pence is earned each hour to sit in Virginia or Tel Aviv and play your games with real lives. I stand on this ground as a witness to history. These cubicle warriors kill for 16 pounds and 40 pence free Palestine. Thank you.